Welcome back to the Bookends YouTube channel. I'm James McGowan. I'm Jessica Faust. Um, and if you caught one of our previous videos on what is upmarket fiction, today we're sort of spinning off of that. We touched on commercial fiction. We said that upmarket fiction is the um, love child between <laughs> commercial and literary fiction. Yep. But what is commercial? We're pretty proud of that, too. Yeah, yeah, it was good. It was very <laughs> simple, um, bookish mathematical equation. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> um, yeah, so today we're going to talk about commercial fiction. What is okay. commercial fiction? Um, what are some different types of commercial fiction? And how to know if your book is commercial fiction? Yep. Um, commercial fiction is genre fiction. And I, I you know, what is genre fiction? <laughs> it's, it's commercial fiction. <laughs> genre fiction is, it's, it's what I cut my teeth on as a publishing <laughs> professional, but I also think it's what, based on bestseller lists, what most of us read. It yeah. is, it are mysteries, suspense, thrillers, romance, science fiction, fantasy. What am I missing? Do I get all the genres? Uh, it's horror. Yes, horror. Now, all of those genres could have an upmarket version. You can have upmarket thrillers or literary thrillers, but generally, commercial fiction is are those genres. Um, one little tip I've got is mass market, which is this size of a book, um, which have also been called um, rack size, but um, that's an older term. It's old and people don't sell books in racks anymore. Yeah. This size always tends to be commercial or genre fiction. It does not mean that all genre fiction or commercial fiction is published in this size. So that's, that's one thing to consider. This is a romance. Um, this is a trade paperback mystery. Trade paperback is the larger paperback size. Really trade paperback is any paperback size other than this. Yeah. This is a mystery. This is also commercial. Um, and then commercial fiction can also be done in hardcover. This is an example of um, commercial fiction. This is another mystery that was published in both hardcover and then a year later it was published in a mass market paperback. Sometimes they will be published in a trade paperback. Um, upmarket tends to only come in two sizes, either hardcover or, or two formats, I should say, either hardcover or trade paperback. So that's one way to... ...dance head mass market, hence the word commercial. <laughs> um, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, you cut off. How did I cut off? I have no idea. You froze You when you were holding up. Yeah. You said that's one way and then you froze. For what was it? Um... You were holding up Melissa. Okay. Uh, maybe I'll just leave this in. The troubles of <laughs> Zoom. Okay. Video. So yes, leave it in and here we go. So that's one way <laughs> <laughs> to tell what a book fits. Ultimately though, um, commercial fiction is really, it's, it's all in the word. It appeals to a larger mass market, mass audience, commercial audience. And it's where all the genres fall. Yeah. Now you can have a literary thriller that's published as literary fiction. It's considered literary. What I would say is you aren't, yes, that's a good example. That example a lot because we both recently. So we're going to have to rearrange your bookshelf. So you yeah. have different examples. Um, you don't need to know whether your book is commercial. If you know the genre, that's what we really care about. You yeah, know, yeah. I care about whether your book is a mystery suspense or a thriller, whether it's a romance, you know, whether it's a cozy mystery, that's what I care about the genre. If you say commercial fiction, this is commercial fiction. I really want to know what genre it is. That's what's more yeah. important to me. Um, we discussed the upmarket. I would recommend that everybody, if you haven't seen that video, go and watch that video as well. But as James already said, upmarket is sort of the love child of literary and commercial. If you think your book doesn't quite fit in a genre, it may be upmarket, and that's something worth looking into. But again, if you're unsure, we said this in the last video, feel free just to call it fiction. Um, and your agent and your editor can figure that out. 
Yeah, so we hope this does help explain it all. I know that there are lots of nebulous terms in publishing, but hopefully um, dispelling the confusion around these two helps. If you have any more questions or anything that you'd like us to tackle next, make sure to put it in the comments below and we'll add them to our list. But don't forget to like and subscribe in the meantime, and we hope it's to see you there. back soon. Guess it's Somewhere. <laughs> we hope to see you soon. Take see care. You later. Bye.